Welcome everybody to a new video. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pipeline Shopify theme and we're also going to be reviewing its competitor that's $200 cheaper and we're going to see how it actually compares to the Matilda Bikini Shopify theme. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in to the Pipeline Shopify theme. So I actually bought both of these themes, the Pipeline Shopify theme and the Matilda Bikini theme. And I actually figured, why don't I do a video review to show you guys kind of my opinion on the various themes. So the Pipeline Shopify theme is a 2.0 Shopify theme. So Operating System 2.0 is Shopify's new operating system. And any Shopify theme that has the old operating system is not considered 2.0. In this case, the Matilda theme and the pipeline theme are both Shopify 2.0. So you are getting the latest and greatest technology when you're getting both of these themes. Now the theme is $280 and it's great for clothing, accessories, health, beauty, sports, and recreation. So anything in the fitness, the health niche, um, that's kind of what the theme is ideal for. Now, let's go ahead and view the store demo to take a look at what it offers. So clearly we see here a banner, we see products here, we see an image or a GIF followed by a product on the right. Same thing here to the right, we have an image followed by a product. We have a product grid here and we have some labels of brands and just a place where you can see different collections, you know, the oils, the creams, um, and just a little example here of some icons of what the brand represents, all natural, pollutant free, cruelty free, etc. We have a newsletter opt-in, we have a footer. So great, great technology, looks beautiful, very classy design uh, for $280. Now let's compare that to the homepage of the Matilda Bikini Shopify theme coming in at $79.99. It's currently on sale. I don't know what you know price it's going to be in the future. Uh, here it says $99. It's on sale for $79.99. Let's go ahead and view the demo. So to get here, this is Theme Ocean. There are they are a theme provider for Shopify. Let's go ahead and click read more here. We can read all the benefits of the theme. There's clearly a lot, but let's just not even go ahead and look at that. Let's click on viewing the demo. Let's type in the password ocean to go ahead and log in. And for you guys to want to do this at home and check it yourselves, just literally go to the link and uh, click view the shop demo. And then you could see here it says use password ocean. Now, I will leave the link in the description to both of these themes. So the pipeline theme and the Matilda theme, I will leave in the description box down below for where you guys can get it, along with some frequently asked questions uh, that people might ask uh, in the description, uh, just in case if you have some questions about the theme. So this is the Matilda Shopify theme, the bikini Shopify theme. And it has, you could see here, it has banners as well, clickable banners. Let me go ahead and go back here. It has clickable banners. So you could see here, the banners are clickable, and you can click on a button. It will take you to that respective page the same way this does here. It's got, um, uh, I guess you could say, a different style banner here that's reflecting the images, kind of really showing off what the products of the brand are and the imagery. And you could see with both of these themes, regardless of their price, the imagery is very professional, very clean, very, uh, you know, uh, just looks great overall. The colors are great. The photographer did a great job on both of these themes. Um, you can see here the uh, the Shopify uh, banner, right? It's almost like a grid, okay? Uh, here we have the uh, a product car uh, a product grid tab. So if you have different categories for products, right? So you can see here there's a two-piece category, then you have a one-piece category. One piece like a bikini, like a monokini, and then you have a bikini, right? Or a, yeah, bikini. So you have different categories, which this is great, just kind of like if, you, you know, for this store as well, if you have... Um, which is, this is the same, literally the same feature. You can see here, pure radiance oil, and then you have blue light mist. So I guess the different lines on uh, the, uh, I guess you could say skincare line. So you have the blue line mist line, and then you click on this link and it shows you the different line, like of some oils or something like that. So I just thought that was pretty interesting that they both have the exact same feature there. Um, now, is it designed a little bit differently? Yes, it is, right? Like the font is different, the setup is a little different, but in general, they serve the same purpose. 
Um, and it's just based on preference what you think looks better. Let's go ahead and scroll down. You have an all products button here. Let's see if there's they do not have that option here on the pipeline theme. Okay, you would think for a little bit extra money they would have that option, but clearly they don't. Here's a lookbook feature, which I, I rarely see on some Shopify themes, but I love this feature. Uh, we don't have a lookbook here on this theme, which is okay, um, but you know, for two hundred and eighty dollars, you would think that they give you a little bit extra. But like I said, you know, it's still a good theme. All right, here we have some blog posts and a gallery, so almost like an Instagram gallery, but it's just a gallery of images, which is uh, really nice. It adds a nice little touch here. Uh, do they have that here in this theme? They do not. Okay, so they don't have this feature here in this theme, which is okay. Once again, just comes up to preference of what you desire and what you like. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the shop page, which the shop page will always have all the products. It will have all the, you know, every single product in the collection. Let's go ahead and go to our shop here. In this case, it will be catalog. And by the way, I want you guys to notice when I take my mouse and I hover over the shop page, there is a mega menu, right? So a mega menu just gives more uh, characteristics to an actual menu, makes it more interactive um, and more engaging so that your customers can convert and buy the products on your, on your website, right? So here we have a bestseller section with some products. We have block HTML and image with some text. Uh, so overall built really, really well. And let's go ahead and take a look at the different, uh, you know, shop pages. So on the pipeline theme, the more expensive theme, um, you have like this banner with a graphic behind it. And that is referred to actually as a breadcrumb. Uh, and then you have these two different categories here, which is something that the Matilda Bikini Shopify theme does not have. So uh, this is, you know, they don't have this little uh, background image or these two background images as well. So they don't have that. Um, this is basically like a typical uh, theme. So if you scroll down here, here we have the filters. And we also have filters uh, for the bikini theme. Okay, I do like that the bikini theme is uh, a little more visual, so everything is larger, I can see it a little bit easier, um, and it looks great on mobile as well. If I go ahead and take this and I kind of squeeze it down and make the page look kind of like this, looks phenomenal on mobile. And you guys can give it a test by heading over uh, to their website and taking a look at how it looks on mobile as well. Um, but overall, it's a little more visual. Everything is, you know, I could just see things a little bit easier um, on the bikini theme. This one, uh, you know, with the pipeline theme, it seems like everything is a little crushed in. And obviously, it's the same zoom that I have on my browser for each one. So this is what you guys are looking at for the typical setup. Um, so you have collections, you have the price filter, you have the scent filter, uh, and you have size and availability. Um, here, you have product categories, the price, uh, the color, product type, product size, vendor, price. You know, you could set it up however you want to. Products, you know, what I do also like is the section here, the products that were recently viewed. I like this idea also because it shows like, you know, products that you might be interested in, which is just another way to present products to your customers. Um, on the right here, we have this sort by, and you could sort by featured, best selling, alphabetical, etc. Let's see if the pipeline theme does that. Um, I'm sure. Yes, you can. So they do have the same feature, the sort by feature, okay, which is a great feature to have. Um, something that I will say is typically guys for filters like this, you can create your own filters and it's based on the tags. So depending on what you tag the product within Shopify, you can set it up here. So if you want to, you know, filter based on, you know, material or color or scent or, you know, whatever, you can create that yourself. So, and that's not with all Shopify themes, but in, in the case of Matilda and the case of this pipeline theme, it's pretty much the same. Okay, <clears throat> now something that I do like that both of these themes do have is different ways that you could view the products. So if I click on this two, these two lines here, I can see the products in a larger view. I can click on these three here to represent three products, four products, five, and so on, and six, right? So I just thought that was pretty uh, creative and very, very um, useful for the average person who's viewing uh, the Shopify theme. And they do have a similar feature here on the pipeline theme where here you can click on these like two, two, you know, uh, three and four. So it's very similar. There's just a little more options here 
on this theme. And once again, the sort by we've discussed this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the product itself. So on the um the uh what's it called? The the pipeline Shopify theme, which is this theme, I don't see any like add to cart button. I could be wrong. Maybe my computer screen is just not showing it, but I would have to actually click on the product to see it. Um, with this, the monitor that I have, since everything is very, very light, it's actually hard to see what's on the screen. Um, I'm not sure if Shopify did that on purpose, but like these colors here are very, very faded on my screen. I'm not sure if you guys have the same issue, but they're like, it's all, they're almost very hard to see. Um, uh, but you know, that could just be my screen. I, I, I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe you guys have better screens, but with this, Shopify theme, I could exactly see the swatches here, the colors, the add to cart button, I could see all of that. Now, speaking of add to cart button and all these different features, we have a add to wishlist feature, we have a compare feature, and we have an add to cart, and we have swatches. So to be clear, what a swatch is, is if you have variations of the product that, for example, serve in different colors, so, so you can see here you have the blue, you have the green, that's what a swatch is. So you can have image swatches and you can have color swatches. So you could see here, this is a smart theme because on the catalog page, what they did was they did the color swatches here. But when I actually click on the product and I get a larger view, I have little image swatches here that represent the actual product, which I think is very, very intelligent. And it's a great feature to have. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the pipeline here. So no swatches from what I could see, but when I actually do click on the product, I do see the swatches available here in colors. Um, I would have wished that they were, uh, image also swatches. Um, but that's okay. You know, every theme has their own features and every theme is different. They're all not created equal. The next thing is with this theme, since I have it, I actually know about this theme. Um, you can arrange the, the product page differently. So there's different arrangements for the product page. So one of the arrangements I had, which was one of the settings is to keep this the way it is. And then as I scroll down, the images will scroll and this will stay where it is. I think that was product layout uh, number three or number four, something like that. So there are different layouts that you have that you can choose. Um, and so this was just the layout that exists here. And it's a cool little layout, right? So like the person as they're scrolling, if you have a lot of images for the products that you sell, right? If you're scrolling, this would be a nice little feature because this section stays here where it is. And I could go ahead and scroll through. So nice little uh, interactive feature. Here we have, once again, the variations, the colors, the remove from wishlist. We have add to wishlist. Uh, we can compare. We can do all these things. Speaking of the wishlist, we have the wishlist icon over here on the right. And it will show us what products we have on our wishlist. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, when I look over here at the uh, pipeline theme, I do not see any wishlist feature. So um, that's just a little FYI. So maybe there is a wishlist that I don't know about, but I do not see that here. Now, the cool thing about a wishlist, guys, is if you have, you know, consumers that come to your website and just not ready to buy right now, um, it's a good feature to have so they could save their product like in a section on your website so they know how to get their back easier. The whole point is you want to make the, you know, the whole customer's journey as easy as possible so that they can buy as fast as possible. And when I say buy, I mean purchase your products. Um, so I just thought that was a little cool interactive little feature that the uh, bikini theme has. It comes with a wish list feature, uh, which is a tremendous feature to have, obviously, if that's uh, the type of business that you want to run. The next thing, okay, let's go ahead and head back here to the catalog, um, is let's take a look at the actual product page. Uh, so let's select any one of these. Let's select this one. Um, for the product page, we have an add to cart. In this case, uh, the description is here on the bottom. Uh, all these things are editable. Here's a frequently asked questions section uh, that people can, or maybe not even frequently asked questions. It really should say contact us, but you add your name, email, whatever, which I thought it was actually very, very interactive and very creative to add this on the product page. Cause somebody might literally have a question about the product so they can send an, you know, a contact form information here and hit send question. And it will be sent to the owner of the website, obviously, which is interactive, right? Like if I'm on the, if I'm on the website and I see images of the product and I'm just simply not sure, then I can go over here. I can, you know, type in my information, send question, etc. I can also add comments. So if you're the owner of this theme 
right? Like if when, you know, if you decide to get this theme, you can add a comment uh, or your customers can add comments to ask questions interactively about the theme. So it kind of serves multiple purposes here. So you have your, your description or more info rather, you have your FAQs and you have your comment. The FAQ you can obviously change. You can change all this, you know, it doesn't have to say more info. You could change the FAQ, you could change comment, etc. Uh, same thing here, like the section that says our promise, environment, etc. You can change all of this as well. Okay, here you have the product image, you have the uh, name of the product. Typically, product pages are going to be relatively similar. I mean, you can only add so much. Um, you know, just some information on the product, the reviews, etc. Uh, pretty normal stuff, pretty basic stuff when you're talking about a, a basic Shopify theme. Uh, you know. Shopify themes, their product pages are all relatively similar. The thing that I thought was pretty cool about this theme is after all the product page characteristics, we have little here, uh, you know, like an icon section where you can represent what the brand stands for. So free shipping, uh, free returns, 24-month hour, uh, 24 month warranty, 100% secure checkout. These are different features that you can add to your store, which is a nice little assurance. It creates trust at, for your business. Um, these ideally would replace a trust badge. And the function of these is just to, like I said, create trust within the consumer. The pipeline theme does not have that, unfortunately. I just don't see that on the product page maybe you guys can correct me but as far as i can see i do not see that now here are a related product section which i do like that the pipeline theme does not have now the pipeline theme has something similar um or excuse me no it does have related products i apologize for that that was my mistake uh so they both have related products uh they have a recently viewed section here on the bikini theme which also the pipeline theme does have so it says uh, or excuse me does not have that's what i meant to say so the pipeline theme just to be clear it has the related product section it does not have the recently viewed section the bikini theme has both the recently viewed and the product related section so if i'm a customer and i'm looking through and let's say i have interest in this product and I'm interested, I might want to buy it, I scroll down, I see other related products, I say, oh, I'm interested in this one. Well, I clicked on two different products, let's say I add this one to the cart, but I also want to add my other product to the cart. Well, I would scroll down, and I would look at my recently viewed, and oh, there it is, that's the one that I just viewed, let me go ahead and add that to my cart also, I have everything I want, and then let me go check out. So, that's a little feature just to be aware of that the recently viewed products does show, and uh, I'm actually surprised that a theme that that cost $280, the pipeline theme, doesn't include a simple feature like that. I thought it was just pretty creative, and uh, the fact that an $80 theme has it over a $280 theme, um, you know, it just, uh, to me, it's, you know, I don't want to say careless, but they could have done a better job with this, okay? But overall, both themes are tremendous. They're great, they're beautiful, they, they look great. I think we can all agree on that, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the functions now of the theme. Uh, so here we have a customizable password page on the Matilda Bikini Shopify theme. So I know this from personal experience. You can uh, change the background image. You can add a logo. And this is for the, the temporary Our Store is Coming Soon page. Uh, so this is what they call the password page, right? Where if you don't have the password, then people can enter their email and they can submit and so that once your store goes live, they can, uh, you know, take a look at your store and you'll automatically email them. The next feature here is the lookbook. So a lookbook is just a place where you can showcase your products, show it to the people. Um, and so this was pretty cool, lookbook version one page is like a slider, I guess you could say, with, you know, a place where you could tag the products. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Here we have lookbook version two, right? So we have an image uh, followed by another image, right? So you have this, um, you have this kind of like checkered feeling. So you have an image here on the right, image on the left. You have text on the left, now you have text on the right. So it's like this checkered uh, kind of, uh, you know, kind of like a mirror image kind of thing. Another image with some text. Then you have some image and then text again. So it's like that checkered feeling. This is just another example of a lookbook. You can tag the actual product so that once I take my mouse and I hover over the image to show interest, I see now the products that are in the image, right? Same thing here. So this is just a quick example of that. Here's lookbook version 3. 
which is uh, here a larger image followed by a smaller image with another larger image followed by a smaller image, another larger followed by a smaller. So once again, just another way to present your products and they are clickable. So when I take my mouse, I hover over the discover button, it will take me, you know, to the product page, take me to the product page, or you could link it how you want. You know, you could link it to an article, you could link it to a blog, you could link it to whatever you want. So lookbooks are just another creative way to show off your product. Uh, the pipeline theme does not have a lookbook. Uh, it doesn't have those features, unfortunately. Um, you know, it's just something that it just doesn't have. In terms of the, the customizable password page, it may or may not have it. Shopify doesn't really tell us. Uh, so, you know, it's something you want to be aware of. Um, the pipeline theme has an About Us page, Inspiration page, Contact, and Frequently Asked Questions. And so does... Um, uh, the uh, the the bikini theme, right? So we have a contact page here on the bikini theme. So just a place for people to enter, you know, their name, their email, their message. The contact page, I think a lot of people think that it has to be more fancy than it actually is. It literally, all it has to be is just a place where people can contact you. That's it. Just a very simple page. You could see both themes. Knock that out of the park. For this one, you can add a map. Um, you could remove the map if you want to. You can remove this section. You could really do whatever you want. It's very, very simple, very basic stuff. Okay? The next thing is the, um, let's see here, the About Us page. Let's go ahead and take a look at About Us page. Just some images, some text. Which is great, you know. All the uh, I believe this theme has it. I could be wrong, um, but we would actually have to go here to the settings, uh, or the 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 page, excuse me. And uh, maybe they have the about us page. They have a compare deal page, uh, password page, lookbooks, wish list, and contact. So maybe they don't have the about us page, but you know, easily you could do, download an app or something like that for it. So pretty pretty good overall. Okay. Here we have uh, a news page. So the news page is just your blog page. And um, yes, every every theme has a built-in blog page. Uh, I don't know if they created any blogs here since this is an e-commerce store. Uh, if you plan on using blogs, oh yeah, they do have a blog. So you can see here the blogs. Let me go ahead and click on it. Let's go ahead and let it load just for a second. So yeah, you have the title, you have the blog post, you have the text, then you have recommended posts here. So yes, there is a blog post uh, page or pages rather. Let me go back here and just click on news and this would be ideally the page for it, right? So it includes all the posts, right? And you could see here the, the related, it even has product review viewed section uh, and some recent articles and about the author. So great. So this theme, they both themes, they have th those different features. Uh, typically things like blogs and frequently asked question page, those are pages that really don't matter as much. I mean, you can add them, right? And they might benefit your store. But in terms of, uh, you know, the sales process, they're not really used in the sales process, um, you know. You know, if a customer is coming to buy, they're just going to simply go to the product, add the product to the cart and check out. They're not really going to uh, worry about all the extra stuff like contact us, frequently asked questions. That stuff is in case if the customer has some doubts about the product and they want to ask you things. So uh, just some added features. Um, but both themes have them. Right, so both themes have those features. Uh, the pipeline theme, I think we discussed this already, does not have a product compare feature and it does not have a product uh, wish list. So this is just another feature. So for the compare, let's go over here to the, the home page and let's go over here and let's say, let's click compare here. And this, these two arrows pointing each other are the compare and let's click here, right? And let's also click here. So we have a few products in the compare. What we need to do is take our mouse and go over to these two arrows and it will say view compare and we can actually view the comparisons here. So I actually selected one. So let me go back and why don't I do another one? So let me add this to the compare. And usually let me, they're on the product catalog page. So I'll just scroll down and hit compare right here. And let's go ahead and compare, view compare. Maybe I, once again, did I mess this up? I think I only clicked on it once. Maybe I have to, or I clicked on it twice. Let me try to click on it one more time. So. Okay, there we go. So clearly you have to click on it once and not twice. That was my mistake. I clicked on it twice. So there you go. They have this is the compare page and the wishlist page. Let's go ahead and view the wishlist page. Wishlist loading. Boom. 
there's the wish list. The pipeline theme does not have those features. Um, now, I do like the way the pipeline theme looks. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a great theme. You're just looking at a little bit more features with the Matilda Bikini Shopify theme. You can look at the catalog, the homepage, the lookbooks. Um, you know, they have different currencies, different languages. All those things are set up. So um, if you're looking to buy a theme and you're on a budget, you could save yourself $200 and go with the Matilda Bikini Shopify theme. Um, but if you are, you know, you just simply want, you know, this theme over any other theme, I mean, get it right? Uh, we'll leave the links in the description to both of these themes, both the Pipeline and the Matilda Bikini Shopify theme. Um, like I said, the Pipeline theme, this is the example of the Pipeline theme, it costs $280. That price may change in the future. Um, actually, Shopify recently, after the 2.0 launch, they've increased the prices of all their Shopify themes. This theme used to be $180, uh, but they increased it to $280. Um, the Matilda Bikini Shopify theme, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they do increase the price, uh, but currently the price is $79.99 uh, or $99.99 rather, and it's on sale for $79.99. So be aware of that. Uh, to my knowledge, I don't think um, the pipeline theme or the Matilda Bikini theme that there are discounts or coupons or anything like that. Um, maybe you guys can correct me in the comments down below. I've checked everywhere I couldn't really find anything um, but let's go ahead and take a look at now some of the features that the product description has that you know kind of Shopify describes so um, the theme is great for high volume stores selling internationally physical stores all themes all themes can do that so this is let's go ahead and just uh, uh, not worry about that so here we have cart and checkout so there's checkout notes or cart notes in-store pickups quick buy and slide out cart um, I would say that really doesn't matter unless you're selling in person so if you're are you if you know you could just ask yourself guys are you selling uh, the products in person and people have to order off your website and then come to your house or come to your business that'll be a different story uh, most people aren't uh, so I don't think that really matters so marketing conversion blogs both themes have that cross selling both themes have that cross selling by the way guys is this feature right here on the product page where we go to the product page we scroll down and it shows the related products that's what cross-selling is um, customizable contact form both themes have that frequently asked questions page both thief has that in menu promos uh, they do have that uh, the bikini theme also has this top bar that I noticed that the pipeline theme does not have uh, so the top bar here is another feature like if you're offering something like free shipping or discount code across the whole entire website something to boost your sales uh, this top bar is in the bikini theme and not in the pipeline theme so just be aware of that uh, product badges so things like you know a sale badge or a discount badge uh, both themes have that product reviews both themes have that promo banners both themes have that recently viewed both themes have that uh, recommended products both themes have that a stock counter both themes have that uh, store locator I don't really know if if the if the uh, bikini shop fight theme has the store locator uh, I just don't sell in person so I really wouldn't know it but like I said, you might want to ask support or something like that on that. Trust badges, once again, both themes have that. Merchandising, you have animation, color swatches, high resolution. Basically everything here, both themes have, okay? Um, breadcrumbs, both themes have. Mega menu, both themes have. So essentially, you're looking at a theme that in terms of features... The Bikini Shopify theme matches the pipeline for basically every feature except for the in-store one that I know of. So if we're looking here at the in-store pickups, both themes match, right, except for the in-store pickup uh, feature. Uh, in terms of features, I would say the Bikini theme has a little bit more features, like I said, depending on the settings. Um, so you have the compare, you have the wish list, you have, uh, you know, different ways to view the products, different banners, the lookbooks. You're adding a little bit more features that the pipeline theme does not come with. Um, I will say, though, overall, that this is a, a perfect theme for anybody who's on a budget. If you want to splurge, if you want to go with something expensive, some people, I, I think they just like expensive products, you know, go with the pipeline theme. It's a great theme, but if you're on a budget, if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, go with the Matilda bikini theme. Now, with that being said, uh, the pipeline theme is being sold on the Shopify website. 
The bikini theme is not. Now, that's not saying that it's not for Shopify. All it's saying is that, you know, there's a private seller. So if you guys know about the Shopify world, there are millions of different places to buy Shopify themes. This is just an example of a Shopify theme that uh, competes with it, I guess you could say. So just a quick little idea about that. Um, and there's nothing wrong with buying a theme that's not being sold by Shopify. All you have to do is simply just upload it to your Shopify store. And the cool thing about these themes are, like the Matilda sheet theme and all the other themes on Theme Ocean, is that you could take the file and you could download it and use it for as many stores as you want, right? Uh, when you buy the pipeline theme, you're buying one license of the theme. So uh, if you're getting updates for that theme, you can only get it for one specific store. With the Matilda, you can get it for as many stores as you want. Like if you have five Shopify stores, you could add it for five different Shopify stores, which I think is pretty cool. Something that I will say that I'm not let me let's go ahead and see if the pipeline theme has the feature. One of my one of my biggest features or one of my favorite features is the um, one click checkout. So basically when you add a product to the cart okay so it doesn't have one click checkout um you guys will see how it works right now so the bikini theme when i let's say i want to buy a product okay and i want to hit add to cart what happens here is this slide out cart comes and it says checkout this is what we call a one click checkout all i have to do is click one button to literally check out now, what this does is this reduces something called consumer friction. Consumer friction just basically means that when you make it harder for a customer to check out on your store, they're less likely to check out. You can see here after I added this product to the cart, I don't see anything about checkout here. I see a view cart, but that adds an extra step to my checkout. So in terms of conversion rates, the bikini theme highly likely to even convert on a higher higher basis at least get higher checkout rates um so uh that's just one feature i always look for in a shopify theme so that i can make sure my shopify theme is always on point and also i can take my mouse and hover over to the cart here and i can hit checkout immediately so i get all those benefits so overall if we made the price exactly the same between the pipeline and the matilda I would personally go with the Matilda just because of the more features. You get the wish list, you get the compare, you get all these different features. Um, but they're not the same price. They're two hundred and eight, you know, two hundred and eighty dollars versus eighty dollars. Uh, so, you know, just a, a quick comparison there. All right. If you guys have any questions uh, about any of these themes, I do have both of them. I bought both of them personally. So uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. All right. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Bye.